The other big game here, I think there's, like I said, we're going to talk about five of these games. We'll mention a couple others uh, maybe as well. But kind of five featured games, I think, on on the card this week for the SEC. And uh, another one here that I think, um, you know, if you've kept up with Tulane, you know this is a potentially really good football uh, game here as Ole Miss is going to play Tulane. That's a 3.30 p.m. Eastern kickoff, ESPN2. That one's in New Orleans. Um, I I love this one. Uh, Brian, like I just think about the possibilities with these two teams and, um, you know, certainly Ole Miss putting up uh, the offensive output they did in week one. Trey Harris scoring four touchdowns receiving wise at three of them in what, two and a half minutes, um, something like that. But Jackson darts, the guy comes out, looks good again, context important, but still Ole Miss took care of its business. I like to see that from teams uh, in week one against teams they should take care of business against. And now they play uh, the top 25 green wave who beat a, Pretty, I think, good and solid uh, South Alabama team last week, 37-17. And, of course, the Green Wave uh, still in the top 25 coming off a great season last year. So this sets up to be, uh, I think, the, the Lane Kiffin special here in terms of getting your popcorn uh, because I think this could be pretty entertaining. Yeah, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, very uh, entertaining game. Can't wait to uh, to watch this one. So right now, most books are at 7.5. I actually see DraftKings is at 7. So this total opened uh, Sunday night or Sunday late afternoon, uh, 62.5. It had gotten up to 67. It looks like it's dropped back down to 66.5. And, and actually, Circa and uh, looks like Caesars are um at 66 so i played it over 62 and a half right when i saw it on sunday i just thought that was too low and, and got on the over um it's hard for me to endorse at 66 and a half um so i you know if listeners are thinking they're going to tail me I mean, you just got to make your own decision on that I, I mean i'm not against it um but i'm just in it four and a half points uh better so as for the side Oh, and just just some more stuff on um uh like in the over. So Pratt, uh, fourteen of fifteen last week, two hundred ninety four yards, four touchdowns without an interception. You know, and, and like you mentioned, South Alabama was really good last year. Ten and three, they brought back eighteen starters, nine on each side of the ball. Their defense only allowed an average of twenty one point three points per game. Uh, but yet uh, Tulane lost three fumbles but still scored uh, 37 uh, points, and they averaged 36 points per game uh, last year. Now, Ole Miss faced an FCS opponent, uh, but, man, was it points go to lower. Like you said, the LaTeX transfer, Trey Harris, looking great in his Rebs debut. And like we also said in the offseason, they've got multiple quarterbacks that they can win with. And I like how he, he shut Judkins down early last week. No no reason to get any more bumps and bruises, you know. 13 carries, 60 rushing yards. He got in the end zone twice and, and you know, shut him down and save him for this week. So um, now they do have a couple of injuries that um, Caden Prescorn uh, is going to be out until late September. The first team, all AAC transfer tied in uh, from Memphis. And I haven't looked today. I, I, it doesn't sound good for Zachary Franklin. I mean, he's listed as questionable. I, I shouldn't even really speak to it because I haven't um, looked to see if he practiced uh, today, but I, I'm not counting on him playing, but I still think Cole, Ole Miss, is going to score a ton of points. And um, as for the side, uh, look, Willie Fritz is going to have a hell of a plan. Pratt's one of the best quarterbacks in the country. You know, they've got an SEC team coming in there. So I'm sure the crowd will be lit. I think there'll be a plenty, a good contingent of Ole Miss fans, uh, though, as well. And I think it's going to be a close game. But I just think over the course of 60 minutes, I think Ole Miss will get some separation late and, and probably win by 10 to 14. So um, if you can get seven, um, small opinion on Ole Miss. And, you know, may, maybe wait it out on the total. Maybe the maybe the total will come back down a little bit more. Uh, and then maybe if you're agreeing with me, you can play the over. But like I said, I got in at 62 and a half and feel good about that. <laughs> 